Today I'd like to look at uh, how to get the most out of your chain. Um, I've got my chainsaw set up here, just ready to sharpen, and why the uh, precision, Gramberg precision grinder comes in so handy. So I think a lot of people, when they get halfway through a chain, end up throwing the chain away. And you can sort of see here, you can see here how close I am now to the witness mark, so, but yet this chain is still cutting like new. And the main reason for that is because I'm getting all the teeth the same length and same angle. And also, just as important, all the depth gauges are correctly set. Now when the chain gets down this short, you can actually raise these depth gauges down a little more to increase the angle of the wood as it feeds up into the cutter top plate. For use here in the UK, I tend to use one of these just 12 volt jumper packs and then crocodile clip onto it. I've tried looking for a um, 12 volt supply that gives you the ampage that you require, but I haven't found Rambo one here. Bramberg do do a 110 volt plug-in supply, but uh, it's no use for our 240 volts, so I tend to just plug into this. Uh, it's a, you can get them off eBay quite cheaply for about 30 to 35 pounds and uh, it's useful to have around the place anyway. You see where I've got that all clamped up. So that's one side done. Now we're looking at doing the, the important bit, the depth gauges. I'm going to change the stone over to a bigger 5 16 or you can use a 3 8 stone. They're quite, they're quite a lot bigger. Next I'm going to set the angle to zero. So I've got this depth gauge which does to 0 0.030 thou of an inch. Usually with this chain, it would be 0 0.025 thou. But as the cutters are so small now, you need to increase the distance between the depth gauges and the cutter top plate. So I can actually see from that that the Depth gauges are pretty much spot on, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to take them down a fraction further. So back to the grinder. So, so you'll find you need to extend the backstop almost right out for this. So you can see I'm swinging that over the depth gauge. Oh, I was just catching him slightly there. That's the whole chain done, it's fully sharpened, all the depth gauges, the difference in the cutters are the same length. And you'll find when that, that is, is, uh, is done like that, I mean a finishing touch you can do now. Some things a lot of people like to do is just take the, any burrs on the chain that you've caused, you can just take them forward. It's a sort of minor point but 
It's not certainly doesn't do any harm to do this. You can see that those teeth really are right back to the witness marks. <laughs>